Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I am so so glad to be back um, and I know I've been missing for a while um, and I'm going to give you a couple of quick updates throughout the video of what's been going on, what's been happening, all that kind of thing but I did have to take a break for a while, some health issues, all that kind of thing but anyway we're back, I'm going to be cleaning this room today, um, it's gotten really bad again, the dust, um, all that kind of stuff, I have I've also figured out why a lot of that's been happening, why it's been so bad but anyway Without further ado, I'm not going to waffle on, I'm going to get straight into getting this room cleaned. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this bed stripped, cleared, whatever, everything taken off it. Um, there's a lot of, it's only like on a couple of days, but I just, there's a lot of dust on it, there's a lot of dust in the air, there's a dog hair, the whole lot, and I will check back in with you guys when that's done. This won't take long at all, but I want to get started with that. I'm going to be running my Dyson fan as I'm doing this to pick up any dust, particles, anything like that that's in the air. And any dog hair and dander so it's going into the fan and not back out into the air after as I'm trying to clean. give you guys an example and I hope the camera picks this up but if you can see that there and I hope the camera does show it it might not this cushion cover was only washed about 10 days ago a week ago maybe and um, I don't wash these every time I wash them like every second time I change the bed so but I have no idea if the camera's gonna pick it up or not I unfortunately my viewfinder is too small to see but this is absolutely covered in dog hair Covered, like literally he sits on it for five seconds, it's covered. So, um, that's why I'm taking all these cushions off. I need to get them washed again. Um, because I literally, the dog hair is getting completely out of control. So, anyway, I'm going to keep going. Just wanted to fill you guys in. anyone's wondering um, I'm lint rolling this this is just the lint roller from Ikea um, because I literally put this cushion cover sorry let me turn off the fan guys forgot about the fan there for a second um, so I literally put this on the cushion yesterday so um, I'm not putting on the laundry it doesn't need to be washed it's not dirty it just has a bit of hair but anyway he literally I literally put on this on last night and there's already dog hair on it I don't know how many of you have dogs but you would think for him, because he's so small, he wouldn't shed that much, but he does. He sheds a whole lot. Um, so I'm just laying on this just to get the heavy off, because really, like, so he, he, I think he literally just walked over it. He may have sat on it for a few minutes, but it's literally out of the laundry, so I'm not going to wash again. Also, it's a printed uh, cushion, as you guys can see. Um, so I don't want to damage the, the print on it by keeping washing it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys now in one second. This is literally one to two days on just this cushion that he occasionally um, lies on, but you know, not always. He might lie on it for like 15 minutes or so. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the hair here. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up or not, but like it's not just on as well, it gets into the fabrics. And like as you can see with this fabric, it's very tightly woven. Um, so you would think it would be harder to get in, but. Apparently not. Now, so, if you guys can see, I just literally got a new roll there. I don't know if the camera will focus or not. 
it may be because it's white because the camera does struggle to focus sometimes with stuff with its white um, anyway guys that was pure white you can I don't know if you can get the detail on it but like that is covered in dirt and dog hair I'll bring it right up and see if that helps let me step out um, I hope that's picking up okay but like that's just from rolling that one cushion you can see all the dust you can see all the dog hair like it's a lot it is a heck of a lot okay so I'm gonna just finish this bed and then I'm gonna um, fill you guys in more <laughs> I'm going to bring you guys over and actually show you this. Now, this is only after a couple of days. Just to give you guys an idea. Now, I hope the camera picks this up okay. Um, as you can see, the sheet is covered in dog hair. Like, literally covered. This is after th two or three days. He doesn't even really lie down here. He lies up more at the top. Um, you can see as I get closer to the top, I hope you can see it gets worse. Um, but yeah, so like usually it doesn't go through the sheet as you can see the mattress protector. There's it's white like you, there's a couple of bits here and there, but it's pretty okay. But I'm going to change it nonetheless. Um, I also wanted to show you guys this like with the dust. Like, and, like even the seat here. Like, it's a lot. Now, the dog has never sat on this chair, but I want you guys to see the uh, the dog hair. Now, this chair is very dusty because I haven't been using it. But you can see that the dust and the dog hair. Um, he doesn't go on the desk. There's dog hair on the desk. There's dog hair literally everywhere. Um, and this is a problem. Um, up here is pretty okay. This is a freaking mess. I'm aware. Freaking mess. Couple of Legos. But um, I've cleared that. Um, you guys will notice my TV is gone. From there. You'll also notice my computer is gone from there. I'm going to fill you guys all in in a minute. And... Um, let me just finish off this bed. Just want to give you some close-ups so you guys can see the kind of dirt and dust that I'm dealing with. Now, usually I'd like separate everything because it's easier for when I get out to wash, but honestly, I just want to wrap up and trap as much um, as much hair as I can, dog hair and dust as I can. Okay, I think I have it all there. He's a beautiful. Anyway, sorry my lens is dirty. Hope you guys can see me okay. I gave the lens a wipe there. I'm not sure if it's super clean, but it looks okay. But anyway, so update. What's been going on? Where have I been? Um, what's been happening? Why haven't I been around? Have I quit? These are all questions I've gotten in the last while. I'll say while. I don't know how long it's been, guys. Honestly, don't know how long it's been. Um, I've tried to do a couple of shorts here and there um, on the channel just to kind of, you know, stay in the stay in the loop as it were. Um, but yeah, the videos have been few and far between and I'm sorry for that. So I did start off this year and I said, I said a lot of things. I wanted to get the spring cleaned on. I wanted to get the whole house done. I wanted to do loads of things. Um, and that obviously didn't end up happening because we are in July now, which I still, I, I don't understand how it's July. I, I don't, it's not. I feel like it was February yesterday. But anyway, um, so, one of the big issues has been that, as I've mentioned to you guys in the past, um, my dog sleeps in here with me. Um, I'm just gonna, sorry. Just saw some dust on my tripod, so I'm just, you know, I'm just bringing more dust into the room as I go. Oh, it's pretty good, actually. Nice. Anyway, focus. 
Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I've mentioned before, I got allergy testing done last year. I've been suffering from a lot of headaches, all that kind of thing. Anyway, so long story short, I found out I was allergic to the dog. Um, thought I'd be fine. Thought I could take the medication, you know, change the bed more frequently, hoover more, you know, dust more, all that kind of things, and that would help. Um, it didn't. So basically, for the last few months, I've been suffering from very bad headaches. Um, I'm not sleeping properly because I can't breathe because of the allergies to the dog. Um, and obviously, as I showed you guys there on the sheets and stuff, the hair gets everywhere, and that's only after a couple of days. Now, I've been trying to wash him more, but I can't wash him very often, between myself and my dad. Um, wash him more. I can't really wash him because if the hair gets up my nose, um, my allergies get really worse, like really, really bad, much worse for like days and days and days. Um, so that's not really an ideal solution, but I've been trying to do that, trying to brush him, that kind of thing, because obviously we had him for a couple of years before the allergies got bad. And if you've been on my channel before, you may have heard this, but I'm just going to quickly go through it just for anyone who's missed it. So basically, I have, we've had the dog for years, that's fine. So what the, allergist, the allergy doctor said to me was, you know, having a dog is fine. It probably won't bring up allergies for a lot of people unless you're severely allergic. But because the dog's in the bed with me, his hair shedding, the dander lands on the bed, then you're lying on the bed, you're literally surrounded in it. You may as well get a bag of it and throw it over your head for eight hours um, while you're asleep so you're constantly breathing it in um, and it's just irritating and irritating and irritating and causing the allergic reaction and obviously the when you are allergic you create histamines in your body which is your immune system overreacting and you get all the you know the headaches the runny nose or in my case my nose gets really dry and really itchy um, my eyes are okay they feel a bit scratchy at times uh, but the worst thing is the headaches they're they're bad they're like if you've ever had a science infection it feels like that most of the time so I'm getting up in the morning I'm waking up exhausted and um, the allergy doctor told me I could be experiencing symptoms like sleep apnea because my sinuses are um, swelling and possibly clothing so that would explain that so my sleeping's been really bad which has made me really tired I've been feeling really unwell headaches all the time feeling sick all the time and just generally feeling absolutely horrible. Then obviously early in the year I got the bursitis in my knee or was that before Christmas? I can't even remember when it was but you remember I had that anyway. I think it was, I think it was at the start of the year. But that basically was nearly healed and then I twisted it again and which was my own fault. Um, what you call her? Well, fault is the wrong word. I decided in all of my wisdom to do a, um, to do a hair mask in the shower. Now anyone who's ever done a hair mask or used conditioner knows when you're rinsing it out the shower gets very slippy. Um, and I don't usually use a mat in my shower which is actually something I must buy. So I went flying and I twisted my knee and it was bad then again for another couple of weeks. So yeah. Um, so anyway my shelves they look chaotic but there's actually some organisation to them. I've got trousers in one section, jumpers in another, underwear, t-shirts, pyjamas. There is some logic to it. Um, but basically I've just been getting by surviving, existing, um, that kind of thing. So um, one thing I always talk about in the channel is transparency and honesty. Um, so I want to be transparent and honest with you guys. So um, basically I haven't been taking care of myself at all really. Um, I've been not well. My anxiety's been, it's been okay, it's not been great. Um, my depression's not been good um, because being sick all the time feeling like crap all the time means that I just everything becomes exponentially harder if you've ever suffered with, with allergies, sinuses, anything like that you know what I mean or just general ill health, chronic illnesses anything like that you'll understand what I'm talking about autoimmune sores or anything so yeah, and my main folks kind of try and be just dust in this room, which I haven't been, I'm going to be honest, I haven't been doing all the time. I've been better at it. Um, but hoovering more, dusting more, changing the bed more, all the things. Um, but the long story short is, I was advised nine months ago or so by the allergist, if not a year ago, 
I was told that the dog had to come out of my room. He says, pull up the carpets, which I was like, mm, no. Um, which obviously, he's like, are you obviously not gonna make me, but he's like, these are all things that are gonna help. So his suggestion was take up all the carpets in the room. Um, my floor needs to be repaired underneath the carpets, so that's just, that's just not safe to do. So I'm not doing that. Um, he was like, get rid of your curtains, get blinds, you know, all these things, get rid of your divan, get a frame. Get the dog out of the bed, right? This is what he told me to do. So what I did was, now stick with me, get ready for this list. I did absolutely none of that. Not one thing did I do. I didn't put up the car because the floor needs to be repaired. I didn't take down the curtains because I hate blinds. I hate them, I don't like them. They're annoying to clean. To me, they're dust magnets. Now, some of you may argue that so are curtains and nets, but I can throw them in the washing machine for 20 minutes, take them out and hang them and they're good to go. Um, whereas, you know, roller blinds have to be taken off, who or it's a whole thing. And the other ones, what are they called? The, is the Venetian blinds? The ones with the slats that do the thing? They'll, they just dust, dust on dust on dust. But anyway, so um, I didn't do that. I didn't do any of the things. The divan for the frame. Like these were all great suggestions from him and I appreciate him being honest and telling me all these things. So I basically said to myself, it's none of that, it's fine, it's the TV. I took that out, that didn't work. It made, it made, look, there's, a, there's less dust now on the Calax. There is less dust, and I will say the electronics do make a difference. There is less dust on the Calax when I took the TV out. So that was great, that'll help, great, fantastic. Computer, electronics. For anyone who doesn't know, electronics create static electricity, static electricity, attracts dust, loves dust. That's why all your electronics are covered in dust all the time. And it's, if, if you're someone who has dust in their house, you'll always find loads of dust on your electronics. Um, so I took the computer out. Um, and you know, the desk is better, there's less dust. And I thought, it's the dust, it's the dust, it's, the, it's not the dust. I, the dust, the TV and the computer have been gone now for, I'm gonna say three weeks, and I still feel horrible. So it isn't the dust, it's the dog hair. And I know it's the dog hair, and I tried to it's the dog hair because I was super worried about, you know, upsetting the dog and because um, Max is a rescue. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Max, when we got Max, we were told that he was surrendered to the DSPCA, or he wasn't surrendered to the DSPCA. Um, he was removed by the inspectors. So he was in an unsafe home, basically. And we don't know exactly because they didn't tell us what he went through. And I, hugely due to my anxiety, decided in my head that if I put him out of my bed, I would traumatise him and give him abandonment issues and give him, you know, more separation anxiety because he does have that. And all of these things were going to terribly happen to the dog. Um, and I've spoken to people wiser and more educated than I am, um, who know more about these things and also are better educated about these things. Um, and my therapist as well. And basically the dog is gonna have to come out of my room. Max has to come out of here because I'm sick all the time and I'm spending money that I can't really afford on buying Dyson fans and, you know, trying to figure out ways to change things and buying new things and stuff that doesn't work and buying products that didn't work and buying loads of things and trying to think of ways to basically avoid it. So, and his bed is in here as well. But basically my whole room's covered in dog hair all of the time and I'm allergic to it and it's got to stop because I am so sick that I haven't even been able to make videos. Um, and I don't want to come on here and be like making a load of excuses and you know, that kind of thing, but I wanted to be honest and fill you guys in. So that is one of the huge reasons that I haven't been making videos, because I feel like crap all the time. Um, so yeah, anyway, my room's a mess because I literally haven't got the energy to put my clothes away. That's the God's honest truth. Um, the Calyx unit is pretty much now a storage unit for three bins, which is quite frankly insane. It's insane, it's stupid, it's insane, it makes no sense. I'm trying to relocate that in the house, it's a possibility it's gonna go downstairs to the dining room. If it does, 
the sound system's gonna go on that, all the board games are gonna go on to it and we're gonna get rid of that shelving unit and reorganize that. That's for another day, that's for another video. Just to give you guys a quick update. I'm being very waffly, I apologize for being waffly, I'm just trying to cover everything and say everything I wanted to say. So, um, honestly I didn't even expect to talk about so much. I planned to do a video of cleaning my room and sharing that with you guys. But to be honest, I'm kind of thinking, you know, this is probably a little bit more important than that. So, yeah, as I'm doing this video, I'm changing my mind as I go through. What I'm gonna say is, guys, um, I'm gonna do a video, another video of this, I think. Um, I'll review it properly, but I'm gonna use this to dust the room. I'm probably gonna do this at the end of this video. If I get to the end, if you get to the end of this video and I haven't shown you the duster, it's coming up in another video. Um, honestly, I'm just trying to keep my head on straight because, um, that's the thing as well. I'm not a person who's ever struggled struggled really with, you know, my attention span so with that, but because I'm not sleeping properly, um, my attention span is like a freaking yo-yo. So if I'm a bit scattered, that's why. But anyway, it's kind of an maybe important day is overstating it. It probably is. But it's a big day for me. So the point of today is basically I was at counselling this morning, I discussed it in depth with my therapist um, and basically what I'm going to do today is, whether it's in this video or another video, I'm basically going to clean this entire room. Again, I'm going to get all the dog hair out, all the dust out, all the things and the dog is going to sleep outside of here tonight. Now, some of you may disagree with me, some of you may not agree with what I'm doing, They may, you may have 500 suggestions of other things I can do. Um, and I'm going to ask you politely to, I'm going to say thank you for thinking of me, but I have tried everything. Um, I even have his bed here. I put him in his bed at night. I put loads of lovely blankets in him. I bought him new toys and put them in it. I gave him treats when he got into it. I did all of the things, but as I mentioned previously, I'd wake up and he'd be in the bed beside me. And the problem is he used to sleep down the end of the bed and like the middle of the bed, which was fine. But now he's sleeping further and further up the top. And he's, I have a cushion over here beside the pillow I sleep on this side. And I'm literally waking up in the morning and his, he's like here from my face. So, you know, and that's also because it's the summer, it's warmer, he doesn't want to be under the blanket and whatever. But um, it's gotten to the point where I'm literally so unwell. Um, and it's affecting my mental health. As well as my physical health, because I'm sick all the time. So, and I'm not a person who is used to being sick all the time. Like I obviously, I do get sick, fine, whatever. Um, but this is like, you know, kudos and shout outs to people living with, with chronic illnesses. I have so much more respect. I already had so much respect, but so much more respect for what you go through every day. And, I commend each and every one of you and my god you you are all a bit say you people that sounds awful anyone going through chronic illness is so so much braver and so much stronger than I am as a person and yeah I just really want to acknowledge that um because what I'm suffering with is um, it's not quite a chronic problem. There is sort of a solution to it. Hopefully it'll work. But there's still an option. Whereas I know a lot of people with chronic illnesses. Um, not all of them can get treatment. Um, not all of them can get like acceptable treatment. They have pain conditions. They have all that kind of stuff. And they live with it every day. And they just get on with it. So I just wanted to shout out those people. And if you're so inclined, um, please shout out your support in the comments below um, to anyone going through chronic illnesses. I would really appreciate that if you could do that. And I think anyone going through a chronic illness would appreciate that as well. And of course, feel free to share your stories. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was delaying doing this, like my lint roller thingy from Ikea, this up here. Um, I got this and I bought the four um, rollers. I've been looking for these rollers for, guys, no exaggeration. 
the replacement one for like six months. I didn't buy it. It was in Ikea a few times and I didn't buy them. I was like, I'm not buying them with four at home. Anyway, I opened the press today. I went back through my old videos. One of my old videos, um, if you guys remember, it's a while back now. It's over a year ago now. Um, I went through all the cleaning supplies in the house. And I was watching back the end of the video and I noticed the pack of them was in that press. And I went into that press again today and I was like, this is really because I'm going to pull this press apart. I'm going to take out everything until I find them. And I pulled out the basket of all the cloths and it was sitting on top of it. It's the one place I haven't looked. <laughs> but anyway, we have it now, so we're winning. But anyway, we're getting a bit doom and gloom here. So we're going to bring it back up a bit. Um, but basically, what's going to happen today is... Um, my plan for today is I need to dust everything. Uh, no, nothing is too bad. I've been coming in here with the duster. Also, I have the we have the Dyson. Um, if you guys saw, I got the Dyson V15. Um, there before Christmas. I got Black Friday last year. So and we had the old Dyson V7. So rather than get rid of the V7, it's not great. Like it's fine. It does. It's good for you know day to day. You know what I mean? Picking stuff up every so often. You wouldn't be doing a deep clean with it. So we've actually installed that in next door and the V15 is now downstairs in the kitchen. It's the one we use most of the time. So I've been coming in with that. It's so much more convenient having it in there and just quizzing it around the room. Um, so I cannot under, I cannot overstate how convenient and how much easier it is just to have it in next door. And like it's such a little simple thing just to put the hoover upstairs. Like the Dysons aren't particularly heavy. Like they're not particularly hard to manoeuvre. But bringing it up the stairs for some reason, I've been like, oh, oh, oh God. You know what I mean? So dramatic. Like, oh, I bring it all the way upstairs, bring it all the way back down. Like, ridiculousness. But anyway, even just having the old one inside, I've been, <coughs> excuse me, much better at hoovering. Um, also, I've been coughing a lot more. If you cough a lot, you'll know you get really bad headaches, blood pressure. It's a whole thing. Anyway, but what I'm going to do today is... And again, I don't know if it'll be in this video. It'll be in a video at some stage, guys. Or maybe it won't. I really don't know. I'm going to say it will be. I'm going to optimistically... I'm going to optimistically say it will be in a video. Uh, probably the next video. This one is... I'm nearly 20 minutes, so it's probably going to be the next one, guys. <laughs> I'm a level with you. I'm a level with you. Um, but, yeah, this whole room needs to be dusted. This mattress needs to be hoovered. Um, it was flipped recently like maybe two weeks ago so I'll probably leave that I might flip it I don't know but I need to dust everything a lot of these shelves are okay because there's stuff on them my bedroom shelves here um and yeah a thing I thought was that the remember all my books and everything were creating a lot of dust and all that kind of thing well, I've never felt worse having these shelves empty. So, you know, it wasn't the books. They were not the problem. They did have dust, but they were not the problem. Um, but yeah, I spent a long time telling myself that it was absolutely fine and that it didn't matter that the dog was in here and all the things. But he's going to be moving back to his own bed. He has a bed in here and that's going to be coming out of here as well. Um, oh yeah, I got distracted. I was saying that earlier. If you have advice, um, as much as it is appreciated, um... I am not looking for advice on this one. I have sought advice on this one from doctors. I have gotten advice on how to do this with like vets and stuff like that. Um, I know people who are very who are very good uh, dog trainers. I've spoken to them about it. Um, so I'm not going to traumatize the dog anyway. I've been informed he'll be fine. Um, but I was doing a bit of the LM deflecting there. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, we need to deep clean this room, get the dust out, um, all that kind of thing. So um, I'm not pulling up the carpet. I said the, door, the floor needs to be repaired. I'm not getting rid of the divan base for a frame bed because obviously, guys, I'm too heavy for a frame bed. That's my genuine opinion and no one will change my opinion on that. Um, if I could find like a solid wood one, maybe, but I like having the storage of a divan. Um, if I found a really, really nice bed that I liked that was a frame, maybe, but I'm also not a person that thinks you should spend like two grand on a bed. I think that's insane. I also don't have two grand to spend on a bed. Um, but yeah, I've, I know too many people with too many frame beds 
and they just they don't last they don't last like the divans do um so i'm trying to look for an alternative that's somewhere between the two but i haven't been able to find anything um and as i mentioned about the blinds i may change my mind on the blinds i'm considering getting smart blinds um but i'm still researching that i know i'm researching again <laughs> spot the millennial um but yeah i'm just trying to remember everything guys that i'm trying that i wanted to say to you guys um oh yeah the day i'm filming this i was going to do a live yesterday but um unfortunately one of my friends um got injured she cut her hand with a knife so i had to bring her to the a and e so if i was talking to any of you and i said i was hoping to do a live my apologies i didn't forget i'm not ignoring you um just i got a phone call friday morning she was very upset she cut her hand open she was washing the delft there was knife in the delft brand new knife of course super sharp she sliced her finger open so we had to go to the a and e for that so yeah i'll get that sorted out so i wasn't back in time and it just it was it ended up being a long day as you can understand a and e's they're like that emergency departments for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about um but yeah so loads of things anyway so Oh yeah, update. We've heard nothing back from the builder. The builder's due to come in September. Um, hopefully. So the decision's been made that if he doesn't come in September, we're just gonna find somebody else um to do it. Because it's you know, obviously COVID hit and that was that was obviously no one's fault. That nobody could have predicted that and you know, we didn't know that was coming and you know, that was fine, but you know, it's been kind of delaying for a while so you know we, we we do need the work done but yeah so that's kind of why i'm also not making any massive changes to the room like you know what i mean design wise or buying furniture or anything like that because when i do the room up i'm probably going to change a lot of things um another thing i've been working on as well is a i was hoping to share this with you in like a proper video and do like a whole thing with it um which i may still do but i haven't yet so i've been working on a second channel as well which is for gaming um for those of you who've been here from like early on or who know me at all um i'm a huge huge fan of gaming um it's like my passion i love gaming it's like my favorite thing to do uh <laughs> probably yeah probably my favorite thing to do um i'm a big sims fan i absolutely love the sims i'm playing it for 20 years probably whenever the sims came out since then i've been playing since then um back during the days of the sims one back in the good old days um so i love the sims i have a playstation 5 as well i love playstation games horizon is like my job oh yeah actually i'm wearing this t-shirt today ironically horizon forbidden west where my horizon t-shirts any of you know the Horizon series or PS5, you know what that is. And if you don't, well, then you don't. Uh, but I, if you want to get into gaming, I'd highly recommend that as a game start. But I'm hoping to start up a gaming channel. Um, I'm doing a lot of research into it. It's been a lot of research. Um, I'm going to go into some boring information now. So maybe skip ahead like three minutes if you're not interested in any of this. Um, but I hope you'll hang around. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so... There's two big streaming services, obviously, there's YouTube, obviously. Um, and then there's a system called Twitch. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Um, but it's like the main platform for gaming. So I'm doing some research into streaming. Now, most people stream, they stream on Twitch. They don't stream on YouTube. Game streaming is not really that big on YouTube. Like, it does happen, but it's not nearly as big as it is on Twitch. But the thing with Twitch is they're making a lot of changes now for the creators. Um that aren't necessarily great. So I had a whole plan in place and then they changed all the terms and conditions. They changed the way that they pay the creators and um, the percentage like split that they do because they obviously take some but they have to run their platform um, and kind of everything that I knew changed. So that's kind of been a little bit of what I've been doing and where I've been. So if you've happened to come across a channel with my face on it, that is not this channel. That is why no one has stolen, well, me, well, I hope no one's stolen my identity. Jesus Christ, I hope not. But anyway, um, yeah, so 
there'll be more information coming on that soon. I'm gonna say soon. I don't know, guys. I plan to have it up and running already. Um, it was due to launch in the the start of the summer, but sure, you know what I mean. Like we were supposed to have the house the house fully spring clean by the end of like February March, and sure that didn't happen. So anyway, um, yeah. So I don't know if I have any more information for you guys that I wanted to share. Um, most importantly, I hope everyone's been keeping well. I hope you've all been looking after yourself. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below as always. Um, if you have any news to fill me in on, I love hearing from you guys. So let me know on all of the places. You know where all of the places are. It'll come up at the end. They're in the box below. You know yourself. But yeah, I love hearing from you guys. And there's a couple of you that reach out to me on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And I love, I love chatting to you guys. Like, you know what I mean? Having a chat. It's great. I love it. Um, and obviously the comment section here, of course. And our live chats when we are doing premieres. Love that. We've great crack. If you're ever, by the way, if you ever join a premiere, if you click the live chat button, like, I'm on that. I'm chatting live. Like, jump in. And it, I know I got a message from somebody before. Um, who said to me, oh, I didn't know if I could join in the live chat, like, you absolutely can't always join in the live chat. Um, there's a couple of us on there who are on all of the time, or like 99% of the time, and we've great crack. And like, everyone is welcome. Um, so I want to give a special shout out. I want to give a special shout out to Bridget, to my girl Terry, to my girl Robin. We are always on the chat. The four of us are always on the chat. Talking nonsense. Having great crack. Chatting about the video. Um, and I have several other people that also pop into the chat all the time. And I'm not going to call out all of you. And in case I haven't called you out, I'm not like, I do not mean that as a slight. I just mean like, there's so many people that kind of come in and out. And I don't remember everyone's name. And I don't want to say some of you and then forget others of you. And then upset or offend anybody because that is the last thing I would ever want to do. Um, but the reason I'm picking out these three wonderful, wonderful women is because they have been on my channel since the very beginning. Like the very start. When I had like no subscribers, you know what I mean? And my videos got like seven views or whatever number of views they got. 45 or whatever it was. Um, but like, and that would take like a month. But um, they've been with me from the very start. And yeah, I just wanted to give them a shout out because they're awesome. Um, and they're really nice and they're super welcoming. <coughs> and yeah, they're such a they're, a, they're really important members of my community. Like you're all really important, but these, these three women have been so, I got, I got cut off, how rude, how rude. But these three women have been so encouraging and so, kind to me and so supportive and they've you know been there when I've struggled and they've you know what I mean made me feel better when I when I was worried about stuff or upset about stuff and yeah they've just always been there so I wanted to shout you three out because you're awesome and I love you but yeah anyway I have waffled on for a very long time not much cleaning was done in this video but it will be coming up soon in a video but yeah anyway I need to clear the rest of this room that's it's gonna be next week's video guys honestly th this video is too long already it's gonna be next week's video um and if it's not next week's video it's because next week's video is I have decided to do a live which I'm hoping to do very soon so next week's video may be a live or it may be me cleaning this room we shall find out um <laughs> we shall find it on the day when it comes out um but yeah so anyway I think I've waffled off in the year off is enough I just wanted to fill you guys in on the updates. I wanted to let you guys know what was happening. Um, I would say, I'm not gonna say let make a long story short because I'm from Ireland and we don't know how to do that. Okay, we don't know how to do it. We're storytellers, what can I say? Anyway, um, I love you all dearly. I appreciate you all dearly. And I forgot to say at the start, but I'm gonna say it now. If you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> I'm delighted to have you. So nice to meet you. And if you are coming back to the channel, welcome back. I'm delighted to see you again. 
I meant to that at the very start, guys. But obviously, it's been a while. I'm a little bit rusty. Y'all will have to bear with me for now. Uh, but anyway, right, I'm gonna wrap up, guys, or this video is gonna go on for an hour and it's just gonna be me talking absolute rubbish. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, a wonderful week ahead, and I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.